Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a drugstore makeup haul for you. Priceline recently had a 50% off makeup sale, I'm pretty sure. So I grabbed a few things from there. I've also been sent some stuff in PR. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. Starting off with Priceline, you know I had to go to the sale because like, duh. I did pick up a few backups of some of my most used products. It's the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Powder. This is an absolute holy grail of mine. Anna Elaine here on YouTube got me onto this a while ago and I have not put it down since. Whenever it's on sale, I stock up. This is such a beautiful powder. It's got a bit of a a sheen to it as well. It's not a completely matte powder, so it doesn't leave your skin looking dry and lifeless. It just leaves a really beautiful finish. It's the perfect color for my fair skin and I am obsessed. Next is another powder. This is the Astralis Fresh and Flawless and I picked this one up in the shade Light Beige. Now I only recently got into this powder because for a while there they didn't have a very good shade range and they were too dark. But when they released a few more shades, this one was released. <laughs> So it is quite a yellow, warm toned powder. It's not as light as I would like, but I can definitely get away with using it, especially if the foundation I'm using is a touch too light for me. This is really good to kind of bring it back to what I need. And then the last backup product I bought is the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Soft Brown. <sighs> Where has this pencil been my whole life? Oh my gosh, I am flying through them. So I originally tried the shade Blonde. So there are two blonde shades. Soft Blonde and Blonde, I think they're called. But Blonde was my shade. It's that perfect kind of cool, but not too gray blonde shade. Works really well. It has a really nice fine tip. I'll show you the one I'm currently using. So it has a really fine tip. It's similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz or the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's that perfect consistency, not too creamy, not too dry, right in the middle. You can create really nice small strokes. I've been trying to do my brows a little bit more natural, even though they're clearly very bold. I'm trying not to go as heavy. So anyway, I did want the blonde shade, but they were out of stock, so I went with soft brown, which is what I have on my brows today. It's definitely not too dark. I go in with the spoolie and brush it out afterwards. I am just in love with this brow pencil. Next, I have a few more products from Maybelline, and first up, I have the Superstay Longwear Powder, and I picked this one up in the shade 10 Ivory. It is their lighter shade, and I think it might be a smidge too dark or like too too cool undertone. Let me compare it to the Fresh and Flawless. Well, this is what it looks like. Yeah, I think it's gonna be too dark. I picked it up though because someone talked about it on YouTube. I think it might've been Taylor Wynn or Jessica Braun. I don't know, someone that I like and I trust talked about it. So I think that's why I got it. But anyway, this is the Fresh and Flawless, which I say is like a smidge too dark. And then when I compare it to that, mm -mm -mm. okay, not sure about that. But I really wanted to try this because it says it has up to 16 hour wear. It's a matte finish. It's waterproof. It resists heat, humidity, shine, oil, and sweat, which like I need that in a powder. So I'll give it a try. I don't think that color is going to work for me, unfortunately. And at Priceline, like at the drugstores here in Australia, there aren't really testers. So it's a bit hard and you can't take makeup back either. So yeah. Next product from Maybelline. Oh, I am so excited about this. It is the Cheek Heat Sheer Gel. Sheer Gel Cream Blush. I have been so obsessed with that savvy bloody cheek tint thing. So when I saw Maybelline had this liquid blush, I just had to get on board. And also I think I saw someone I like talking about this too. 
So this is the shade I got. It's 20 Rose Vibrant. It looks a bit dark, but once you blend it out, I think that's just going to leave such a beautiful tint of color on the cheeks. <gasps> I'm so excited to try it. They did have a few shades. I think there was about four. And yeah, I liked this one, so. Next, I picked up the Brow Fast Sculpt Gel, and this is in the shade Blonde. I just love brow gels. I didn't think it would be a product that really grabbed my attention, but they do. So this one has a nice small wand, which y'all know I love, but see how it's like tall, tall? How it like pokes up on one side. Wow, my descriptive words are just terrible. But anyway, it's just a brow gel and I thought I would try it. So that's all I have to say about that. And then lastly from Maybelline, I grabbed the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. And this is in the shade 02 Fair Porcelain. I am pretty excited to try this. I feel like I've been digging the more glowy foundations lately, although they don't seem to last as well on my skin. So I don't know, but we have been in the hotter months. So now that we're coming into autumn and the cooler months, I think it's the perfect time to start trying out these more radiant finish foundations. Oh, I hate when these stickers are on the bloody packet. It just leaves them all sticky and like, who can be bothered to go and get shit to wipe that off? Not me. But anyway, this foundation claims to have a hyaluronic acid and collagen. It gives up to 12 hours, hours? 12 hours of continuous hydration, improves the look of skin, it has medium coverage, and it doesn't clog pores. So, excited to try that one. I have been using the Dream Urban Cover, which I really do like. This one has a full coverage and the shade is 110 Porcelain and it's a bit too dark for me. So I think that this shade 02 Fair Porcelain will be a good match. Oh, I actually have one more thing from Maybelline. This is the Hyper Easy Liquid Liner. I was kind of just drawn by the packaging, to be honest. I did need a new liquid liner because I currently just use the Hyper Sharp Wing. Not that I do wing liner often, but when I'm putting on false lashes, I like to just go over the lash band to make sure it's all camouflage. So I thought I would give this one a go. It's just got your basic, I think this has a brush tip. Yeah, that's definitely a brush tip. It says brush tip liner. But anyway, that is that. And then lastly from Priceline, I have another foundation and concealer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup and it's in the shade L1. It doesn't really describe what it's meant to do or anything. I just kind of picked this up because I actually saw the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer and I'm pretty sure I've seen Jessica Braun use this, which is why when I saw it, I was like, oh, well, let me test that out. And so I thought, why not get the matching foundation and I can test them out together. So this concealer is in the shade 100 or L100 Fair Porcelain. It's got that nice, thick, thick wand. I have high hopes for this. I'm assuming it's going to be similar to the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer, which is similar to Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm very excited to dip into this because I love me a full coverage concealer. So. So that's everything I picked up from Priceline. Next, I received a package from BYS Cosmetics with some products from their two new ranges. First, we have the Glass Glow range, which contains foundation. So this is a luminous foundation. It's in the shade Ivory. I'm actually wearing this today. The shade is so fair, like it's too fair for me. How crazy is that? So I did mix in a bit of my L'Oreal True Match Foundation, but I'm testing this out. I want to do a full review on this. It says, get your glow on with this illuminating liquid foundation, radiant finish. It has a buildable coverage with ultra hydrating formula infused with vitamin C and glycerin. 
So as I said, I am feeling the more radiant glowy foundation. So I'm very excited to be testing this one out. What else come in the glass glow range were these lip glosses. And the vibes I'm getting from these are similar to the Fenty gloss bombs. Like if I just reach back here, you see what I'm saying? All right, so let's just give these a swatch. Yeah, that is very, very similar to the Fenty gloss bomb that I have. Even this shade just looks similar to their, their first release one. I can't remember. Ooh, these look pretty. Okay, so they're the three shades there. Once they're on your lips and sheared out, I don't think the color is as dramatic, but I'm excited to try them. And then the other new range is the full coverage range. So we have a foundation. This is also in the shade Ivory, but it seems a bit darker than the Glass Glow. Ooh, look at that pump, that's nice. So this one says it's a full coverage, buildable and long wearing foundation that creates flawless airbrushed, that creates a flawless airbrushed finish. Let me, oh actually, maybe the bottle is just a bit deceiving. That's the shade there. I think that might actually be a good match for me. Let me show you it compared to the Glass Glow shade in Ivory. So the top there is the Glass Glow and this is the full coverage. So within the full coverage range, we also have a matte pressed powder. This is also in the shade Ivory and I think this shade might actually work for me. That's quite fair. And then lastly, for the full coverage range, we have some color correcting concealers and a regular concealer. So this concealer is in the shade Ivory and it is, I think, a little bit too dark for me. Although I do love that it's got that nice thick wand. <laughs> I will still try it out though. I've been seeing Anna. She uses the Flower Beauty concealer, which is a bit too dark for her. But what she does is she puts it on first and then she puts her foundation on top. So maybe that is how I will try out this concealer. And then we have a green concealer for counteracting redness. We've got a pink and a yellow. So I usually use a pink peachy tone for the darkness under my eyes. I've never really used a yellow color correcting concealer, but this one says that it brightens under eye circles. So I'll definitely have to give that a go and see which shade I like better. All right, well that is all for today's drugstore haul. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. And if you're not already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram. I'll have my name on the screen now and also down in the description box. If you're after more drugstore related content, then you've come to the right place. I recently did a video using my current favorite makeup and everything besides one product was drugstore. I also do heaps of tutorials full face drugstore, so I will have them linked down below if you're interested. Otherwise, I hope you are all having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.